Power is not about becoming a gangster and stealing and killing. Power is not about becoming a corrupted politician and deceiving the public and becoming a millionaire. <clears throat> Power is not about running a fossil fuel company and just extracting coal and oil and gas and keep doing it until you <clears throat> ruin the planet Earth, destroy everything. Power is not power is not about power is not about cutting the trees and keep cutting the trees and destroying wildlife and cutting the trees and <clears throat> selling selling it to the furniture industry. That is not power. Power I mean, you know, if you really want to feel powerful, which we can we can never be, then it's to do good. When you do good, now that when when you do good, then you can feel to be powerful. <clears throat> I mean, no one can actually become powerful because we all believe it or not, we all depend on God. <clears throat> we all depend on the Creator Allah. <coughs> and so we we cannot we 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 cannot delude ourselves thinking that doing negative stuff that that becoming greedy and then becoming evil somehow we will become powerful. That is just a delusion. That is not real. Now, <clears throat> seriously, if you want to feel powerful, then you want to, to you want to do good, and you know, such as smile at your neighbors, and you know, <clears throat> say good words. And this is important. If you don't have good words to say, don't say anything. You have no right to hurt another person with swearing and condescending words, being sarcastic, in other words. So to summarize, power is not being a gangster. A gangster can never be powerful because a gangster is, you know, the, the gangster chooses to be greedy and then evil comes after. So, you know, greedy and evil, the gangster cannot be powerful. <clears throat> a corrupted politician cannot be powerful because, again, deceive the public, take all the money and enjoy life. No, that's not power. That's, again, greed and evil. <clears throat> Again, being you know taking, um, uh, making fun of other people, hurting other people's feelings, um, not powerful. No, not powerful. <clears throat> so, if you want to feel powerful, then begin to do good in your community, in your society. This is important. And I would like to end with, thank God, <laughs> we have God. You have no idea what it means to me and what it, what, what, what it should mean to you. Thank God we have God. Thank God we have God. Thank Allah we have Allah. Because Allah, the Creator, Allah has made, designed, created everyone a fantastic home in paradise. Now don't forget life is an examination and all you have to do to pass it is become a Muslim today. Yes, become a Muslim today. For your sake, not for my sake, not for Allah's sake. Not for my sake, not for, not for God's sake, for your sake. And yes, my God, your God is the same God. My creator, your creator, is the same creator. Allah 
is an Arabic word. Allah means the one who deserves all worship. <coughs> and I am sorry for coughing because it is winter in the UK and I have this cough. Hopefully it will go away soon, inshallah. <coughs> God willing. Now, yes, what I was saying is why, yeah, why Islam read the Quran English translation by M. A. S. Abdul Halim with an objective mind. Uh, also, read the book Divine Reality by Hamza and the Azotsis. Also, read Signature in the Cell and Darwin's Doubt by Stephen Meyer in regarding to that evolution is false. Also, you can watch the YouTube video called How the Bible Led Me to Islam. It's about Yusha Evans. And also you could, you know, go to YouTube, uh, type in New Muslims, and, and seriously, you will see so many, you know, New Muslim you know, stories on YouTube. And I'm telling you, you know, why Islam? You want to understand Islam, you want to accept Islam, you want to become Muslim, and you want to live a Muslim life, and you want to experience experience death as a as a Muslim. And therefore, inshallah, see if you become see if you become Muslim, you live a Muslim life try to live a good Muslim life, you experience, you taste uh, death, because we don't die, we experience death, you face death, you taste death as a Muslim, inshallah, you and I, if God willing, you and I, we will go to paradise. We will live in paradise, and that is permanent success. We will live in paradise forever. Yeah. Happiness. Permanent success and happiness forever. Thank you for listening to this video. Please become a Muslim today and save the real you, which is your soul. The real you is your soul, not your earthly body. Don't get tricked by scientists that in the future they will record all your memories and upload your consciousness into a USB drive, into a silicon wafer and then give you a advanced synthetic body, human lookalike body and then you will live forever. Oh yeah, look, I have achieved immortality. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> it, you see, the real you is your soul. And the soul is invisible. And, you know, you, no one can actually, you know, see the soul and, and, and cannot actually catch the soul. And therefore, there is no escape. Yes, there is no escape from death. There is no escape from the experience of death. And I am emphasizing, we don't die, we, we taste death. There is no escape from death. There is no escape from the experience of death. There is no escape from the experience of death. And therefore, life is permanent. Because the real you is the real the real you is your soul. Ruh in Arabic, the real you is your soul, not your earthly body. Please remember that. Please. And become a Muslim today for your sake, not for my sake. Please become a Muslim today 